Hello and welcome to Mega Bread Run Notes. We've had a little bit of snow overnight, as you've just seen, which makes uh, getting the run ready a bit difficult because uh, the windscreen's all frozen. My mirrors are frozen over again. I've probably used half a tin of antifreeze to, you know, spray on antifreeze to, to do that. And whoop. Thank you, Mr. Aldi, for letting me out. So, yeah, it's been a bit of a rigmarole trying to get the ram ready. And as you've seen in the recent video, I've put the, the battery on charge. It seems to be okay now. And as we're going for a walk in the local park, um, I've got my walking shoes on and I can't currently feel the pedal when I'm driving so that's not ideal usually I change my shoes I've got some of the accessories I got from Madame MB for the, my birthday and uh, we're going to stop up at the park and put those in place nothing spectacular Win winter accessories oh, the light's just fallen off the windscreen it's actually more wet than anything. It's not icy, really, on the roads or anything like that. The visibility in this van is awful. Um, whoops, that's a bit fast. Of course, with it being having frozen quite a lot in the recent week or so, we've got lots of potholes again. I seem to be obsessed with potholes, but we get some really big ones along this road it seems to have been more and more and more so it's not really easy to drive so I'll go and park up there oh, you see there you've got three together and there's no way I can actually drive over them at the, sort of like the fastest speed we've got the same problem here I just can't straddle them or anything because they've just been increased by all the frost and minus temperatures we've had so this is my first trip out since uh, my back started hurting uh, last weekend when I, I was literally crippled I couldn't struggle to get out of bed with it it seems that uh, it's a bit better today so I can't see anything behind me at all so why not go for a walk? There we are. Right, we'll take the um, dash cam off. And lock that away. It's a ritual now. I always put the dash cam up because you've seen from some of the dashcam videos I started to do more and more of them although this dashcam isn't the best of quality it's quite stable if I put a phone up there then you just cannot film very well it wobbles about everywhere so um, the concern was the battery because of the freezing cold temperatures and the fact I left uh, this on um, this switch here which controls this plug and I left this plugged in as well which is charging up the um, Wi-Fi speaker and this light which is dropped off so the sticky is, is given up and uh, I'm going to have to do something about it so I think I'll take that off completely because I'm going to damage the plug and uh, I'm going to put that limiting space here I shall put it in my little box all the other things so I don't lose it so when it's a bit warmer I have to do lots of things on the inside of the van so we've had you see in the last video we've had these um, sort of anti humidity um, cushion things um, I already have one here which I bought some time ago um, 
and it's supposed to turn pink in the middle it was blue like these but this doesn't feel like it's full of moisture so I'm wondering whether they're actually useful or not to be honest so I'll stick that one down up there so unwrap them we'll stick one there probably not over the outlet for the the blower another one next to the other one to see if it makes any difference there we go so that's that um, the other thing was a uh, air freshener now it's got a little clip on the back and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it I said I'm going to put it down here um, I'm very lucky I've got Remy with me today because he's, he's filming uh, his bus didn't turn up this morning for college so um, as uh, Madam MB took uh, Emma, my daughter, to, to college earlier on, because her bus didn't turn up either, um, Remy stuck here because I'm not at the stage where I can drive all the way to his college um, with my driving skills. So, uh, yeah, uh, so he's got a day off. So it's all in my favour. He can film me doing all this silly stuff. So I'm wondering where I can clip this. What do, you, what do you think, Remy? Where do you think I'll clip this? Well, we'll take it out there, shall we? The only thing I was thinking of, I don't know whether Remy can film down here, because it's all in the dark and in between us, and there's not a lot of room in the cab. So you've got this flap here, and just about see it. So I was thinking probably put it on there, but it's easy to catch and close, and fiddly to open as well. So, the clip on this is tiny, so I'm just trying to think about where I can put this. So, there's the clip. What can we clip that onto? I mean, it's going to be a cable ah, or something, yes. isn't it? I'd rather not have it up next to my face when I'm driving, because uh, I don't want smells right in, in my face mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I think uh, I'll get Remy to clip it onto there. It's up to stay. So Remy's clipped it to the cable, and then we need to pull that silver thing out, I think, without pulling the thing off the cable. There we go. So when we come back from our walk, it should smell nice. So Dolly's in the back, poor thing, so we're going to head off for a walk. So before we go for our walk, I just wanted to show you the readout on the battery. Uh, I'll switch that off. Switch that off and then unplug that. Uh, so it's 12.2, so that's okay, 12.1. Uh, I don't know if that's ideal or not, to be honest, but uh, I've been leaving this plugged in and it just powers a few LEDs, plus obviously that, so Hopefully it won't tax the battery too much. It's been okay over, over the past couple of nights. We don't want to come back to a van that uh, has a flat battery, really. So I'm going to be using, sorry, rather not using my external mic because it's just, uh, well, the mic's okay. There's no juice in that, but the receiver, uh, rather the transmitter, sorry, I get the two confused. Transmitter is is showing yellow on there, and I don't want to risk uh, using it. Anyway, we're going to be outside, so we don't really need to to use the microphones as such. You can see that the the cab is literally waterlogged. I'm just currently stuck in the foliage. I think it's a bramble of some sort. It's very muddy. There we go, we've got a bit of sunlight. So, set me strive ago. I'm not going to go for a long walk anyway, but uh, you see we've got a bit of snow. We'll go off into the park. I am not running. I refuse to run. My back hurts still. But Dolly's very happy to be out. He's eating the grass with snow on. Ouch. 
You right, Dolly? Dolly? She's in her little world. She's overwhelmed by all these senses and smells and everything. I don't quite know what this is for. This, uh, this viewpoint, because you can't really see a great deal of things that are interesting up here. Luckily, the steps aren't icy. So we've just got basically got a view of the fields uh, and the lane down the side of the park, and now it's inside the park. So it's a bit pointless really. The Remy is showering uh, Dolly with snow, the poor thing. I was reminding myself that driving here, I was atrocious because I've got my walking boots on and uh, I'll tell you now, on an XM Mega Multi Truck, don't want to fall down the stairs, ouch! Oh, my back's still fragile. I shouldn't have jumped off the step. So, and I'm in the dark. That's better. So, yeah, uh, driving one of those trucks in walking boots is not ideal. Um, you really need something a bit thinner so you can feel the accelerator pedal. And uh, it's very scary because you sort of can't feel anything at all. You know, you can't feel how much pressure you put on the pedal and it's highly dangerous. So, unfortunately I've got to drive back like that, but luckily it's not too far. It's just a very, very short hop back home. Well, it's a bit of a luxury having the cameraman with me. He's, uh, looks like he's filming my chest, but apparently it's filming all of me. Uh, so we'll bring things to an end there. We'll carry on with our walk. Uh, try to get some therapy from my back. Uh, and uh, feel a bit better about things. Um, so, if you would like to follow me, uh, you'll find me on Instagram. You can subscribe to me on here, obviously. Uh, you can also uh, view my um, transport photographs, car photographs, lorry photographs, etc., on megabreadvan.space. And I'll catch you in another video. So, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Ding 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 ding. Join the Rudolph. I don't know what's happened here. It looks like the trees come down. It's not the first one we've seen in the last couple of months. But uh, yeah. It's like uh, we're blocked from going any further unless we climb over it.